Well, people change too, right? They retire, <laughs> they do different things. Life changes, something to watch there. Uh, you're going to join our coverage in the afternoon too when we move to Congress. What is your expectation there? The president's going to be out here in a couple minutes. And what, what, what is your sense in our nation's capital as to how this unfolds? Well, I, I think the point that needs to be made is how extraordinary this is. We have never seen what we're going to see today. Uh, people point back to 2005 when uh, George W. Bush beat John Kerry uh, and a congresswoman from Ohio and Senator Barbara Box of California both objected and both sides went into their separate uh, chambers to debate for two hours about the vote in Ohio, which was very close and was what put Bush over the top. The difference is that John Kerry, the failing candidate then, had already conceded. And in fact, he was, he was very much discouraging and disavowing Barbara Boxer's effort to hold this objection. And in fact, when it got to the Senate, she lost by a vote of 74 to 1. She was the only Democrat who voted to object to the uh, victory by George W. Bush in Ohio. Now you've got maybe 100 Republican congressmen, uh, uh, more than a dozen Republican senators. You've got the, uh, the sitting incumbent president uh, who's going to be making a speech in just a few minutes saying that the election was stolen from him. We have never, ever seen anything like this. And, you know, I think it's worth pointing out, this is usually the day when we, people behave in our democracy, behave well. I mean, in 1961, Richard Nixon was uh, the, the failing candidate and the sitting vice president. He had to preside over his defeat in uh, the House of Representatives, and he did it graciously. Uh, in, in 2001, when Al Gore lost yeah. to, to George W. Bush by, what, 500 votes in, in Florida, he shut down some objections from members of the House, uh, as did uh, Joe Biden. He wasn't actually on the ticket but shutting down objections from Republicans back in 26, 2017 when they were objecting to the victory of uh, G Donald Trump. So, you know, usually this is the point when every, all, everybody comes together, losing hurts, but they sit there and say, for the greater good of the country and in keeping with our, our democracy and our Constitution, we're going to recognize that the person who got the most electoral votes won the election. Uh, and the fact that that's not going to happen today is kind of sad. We'll see it as it moves forward. Uh, I saw the video of Al Gore a bit earlier today. You really, you hang on his every word when you think about what had transpired over the previous month and a half, 37 days or so. Um, Chris, thank you. We'll see you a bit later this afternoon. Chris Wallace there, back at our nation's capital. Thanks. Andrew. All right, nice to see you, Chris. Thank you, Bill.